A very happy Christmas to you all from us here at Sky Sports News HD. Today we bring you the latest in our series, My Special Day, where we take children suffering from serious illness to meet their sporting heroes. Today it's the story of 13-year-old Rafe Walker. When diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumour, Rafe immediately had to give up playing the sports he loved. His response? to raise tens of thousands of pounds for the hospital that kept him alive. Well, his special day saw him get up close and personal with some of rugby's biggest stars. I think what's really good about Rafe is he's always up for everything. I would describe him as funny, lovely, and generous heart. What does sport mean to him? It, it's, it's, it's his life, really, at the moment. It's a big part of his life sport. He absolutely adores any sport. How sad were you when they told you that you couldn't play contact sports properly anymore? I was devastated, to be fair. The reason Rafe couldn't play those contact sports, because after a mystery illness was finally diagnosed, it turned out to be life-threatening. I kept throwing up and I didn't, it wasn't really good, but I didn't really realise it was something fatal. We suddenly started having phone calls from school saying that he'd just been sick. He used to be running out for the first team and you know, be like a real bundle of energy for the first five or ten minutes of the match. And then he started to sort of like conk out or go soft. One day he would, he'd been running around obviously and came off and he just looked absolutely dreadful. He looked like he was just about to collapse on the floor. They just gave me antibiotics and I didn't think of anything of it. His face fell on the one side. So then we knew then it was something really, really bad. And that's when we managed to then get an MRI scan. They said it would be a few weeks until you get the results. Well then the next day the doctor rang and said we needed to go up to ear, nose and throat. One of the tubes was blocked in his brain and that was why it was happening. They uh, diagnosed it as a brain tumour. If he hadn't had an emergency uh, surgery the next day, he could have gone blind, I think, and gone into a coma. Rafe went from sportsman to fundraiser, inspiring people to raise over £30,000 for the Birmingham Children's Hospital, which saved his life. We filmed Rafe at the hospital as he went to get the results from his six-month brain scan. We knew those results were fine, so with the help of his oncologist, we sprang a surprise. You've had your scan, which yeah. is fantastic, and I'm really pleased to say that once again, there is no change and everything is fine. Good. So, Very good. do you want to see your pictures? Yes, please. OK. We've got a new system for looking at pictures now. Oh, and I've got... Uh, iPads. Oh look, no, that's a funny scam, isn't it? Hi Rafe, it's uh, Stuart Lancaster here, the England rugby head coach. Uh, we've heard uh, how courageous you've been recently and how your fundraising is going. We'd be absolutely delighted if you could come and join us um, to our England training camp to meet the players um, in the lead up to the All Black game. Uh, I do hope you can make it. It'd be fantastic for us to meet you. Uh, and we're wishing you all the best and hope to see you soon. Oh. <laughs> oh. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later, Rafe arrives at England's training camp, where he's met by fullback Alex Good. Hi there. Uh, yeah. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Good Hi, pleased to meet you. Are you looking forward to today? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Hopefully you'll see some of the preparations we're, we're getting in place for the game against New Zealand. Alex takes Rafe and his dad on a tour of the facility. Heard a lot about you? Yeah, thank you. Oh, you have a good day, eh? Yeah, yeah. Then it's off to watch training where he gets his first glimpse of his favourite player, Chris Ashton, and meets the coach, Stuart Lancaster. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good, very good. Yeah. Nice of you to come down. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, you thank look forward to it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll go do my thing. Sure. Thank you. As Stuart does his thing, Rafe has a pitch-side view of England's training session. While the players are put through their paces, Rafe gets a tour of the gym from national fitness coach, Paul Stridgen. How long do they normally spend in here? In here, probably about... Three sessions a week, for about an hour, about three hours a week, yeah. Paul then shows Rafe the wrestling room. And as the players come off the training pitch, it's time to get some autographs. Can you on my top, please? Cheers, mate. Thanks. You enjoyed your day? Yes, yeah, good so far. Yeah. You right, mate? Cheers, mate. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You're my favourite player. Am I? Yeah. What's your name? Rafe. Nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, you too. Sure, sure. Yeah. So you come in today to watch us, yeah? Yeah, day off school, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, cheers. Could have been a bit warm for you, couldn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's all right though. It's not raining. So. Really good to know. Are yeah. you staying in all day? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, see you. I'll get training. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. Okay, okay, see you in a bit. Owen Farrell stays late to do some extra kicking practice, after which he needs Rafe's help to collect the balls. What's your name, mate? Uh, Rafe. Nice oh, sorry. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> How you doing? Pardon? How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You? 
Yeah, very good, sir. Yeah, good. You enjoyed your day so far? Yeah, so far. It's been good. This is it. Normally, I only need two bags. Perfect. There you go. Thanks okay. very much, mate. Cheers. Next stop, the press conference, where Rafe has a front row seat. Stuart faces the world's media. Rafe even gets to ask a question of his own. Final question from uh, Rafe, who's our guest here. Um, considering you almost won the last two games, uh, what's that little bit extra that you need for uh, to win this game? I think it's the um, the set piece is crucial, Rafe. I think you know we've got to make sure that you know we were good in the scrum at the weekend. Uh, against South Africa, we weren't as good in the lineup. We need to make sure we uh, we get both areas right, which will give us good ball to play with. Yeah, cool. Good Thank question. you. Thank you. Rafe then gets confirmation from our rugby reporter Phil Edwards that he's done well. Very good, spot on. Before he leaves, Rafe spends time chatting with the rest of the squad. Did you get to ask Stuart a question? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What did you ask him? I asked him. Why is that um... playing me? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, good. You had a good day? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah, it's been good watching you train and everything. And there's one last surprise from Chris. I've got some tickets for you for this weekend. Oh, yeah, nice. So you're oh, going to come you. to the game, okay? Oh, thank you. Have you been before? No, I've never been to it. I'll give those to you. Oh, nice. You know what else to do? You can have my boots after the game as well. Really? Yeah, too, oh, okay? thank you so much. No problem, thank you. Oh, no cheers. problem. Thanks for coming in okay, today, mate. That's all right, cheers. Enjoy Anytime. That weekend, Rafe, his dad and his cousin Tom arrive at Twickenham. When they take to their seats, they realise Chris has put them right next to the England bench. After watching the hacker, Rafe witnesses an historic England win in which Chris plays a starring role. To a leg As England celebrate, Rafe does too. What he doesn't know is he's about to be celebrating with the team on the pitch. Is this your note? Yeah. Come on. Oh. Come on. 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 Come That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. That's because of you, that yeah, man. Yeah, you Yeah, you. Oh, nice. Yeah, you enjoy that. Yeah, it was great. You, you were great, mate. Bobo. Great catch. I'm a these lines as well. Yeah. Uh, so I'm fine with it. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, guys. You got it? You got it? I'm all out. Enjoy that. Yeah, it was great. You played awesome, mate. Owen! Owen's great, mate. Thank you, mate. Yeah, good. Thanks, you. Yeah, good. You got training, you got all of them. No, no, yeah. Training, yeah. Thanks. It's great atmosphere. I've never been here before. It's wicked, it is. Yeah. It's amazing. Chris! Chris! Well played, mate. Enjoy that. Yeah, it's great. Well played. Oh, play, Ben. Play. Right? Yeah, you. How are you? you that's enjoy amazing. That? Yeah, that was wicked. Oh, you're amazing. Have a good day. Yeah, it's been amazing. First time here for both of us. Yeah. Nice. It's a great place to, good to come. come to them, isn't it? Was, yeah, definitely. Before he leaves, Rafe is taken into the Twickenham Tunnel. But true to his word, Chris gives him his match-worn boots. Thank you very much. You played awesome. Thanks for the try, mate. Oh, thank you. That's it, yeah. Good. This was a special day Rafe Walker will remember forever. Well, in the five years since Rafe was diagnosed, advances in medical research mean his tumour is now operable. He says he'll continue to raise money for the Birmingham Children's Hospital for as long as he can. To see more footage from Rafe's trip to Rugby HQ, go online now at skysports.com forward slash my special day. And once again, a very Merry Christmas to you all.